Hello and welcome to today's discussion on tax with SAPS for HANA. We're joined by the author team who will be introducing the book and answering some of our questions. Michael Fuhr is a certified tax advisor with a business informatics background. He co-leads the German EY Indirect Tax Technology Practice and is responsible for the Bavarian region as the Indirect Tax Technology Partner at EY Munich. Dirk Heine works as a partner in the Big Four. He advises clients during the transformation and digitization of their tax function and its integration with the finance function. Nadine Teichelman is a senior consultant in the EY Indirect Tax Technology Practice based in Munich, Germany. In this role, she advises multinational clients on the digitization of their tax department. Jan Walter is a tax partner in the EY Business Tax Practice, and he is based in Munich, Germany. As an SAP S4 HANA expert, Jan supports tax functions in transformation projects to identify, address, and manage direct tax requirements in SAP. All right, well, first I'd like to thank all of you for chatting with me today about tax with SAP S4 HANA. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what this book is about and who is it for? Yeah, so with this book, you will learn about indirect tax, direct tax, and transfer pricing and connected functionality in S4 HANA. So you learn about the configuration, tax determination, and reporting, basically anything you need to know to set up tax in your SAP S4 HANA system. Yeah, so I, I think that, that the book yeah, provides a comprehensive overview of, of tax requirements and also capabilities uh, in, in SAP S4 HANA, and that across multiple uh, tax types. So as Nadine said, ranging from indirect taxes over direct taxes to, to transfer pricing. So um, yeah, if you would like to, to learn how taxes impact your SAP transformation, and um, yeah, how SAP S4 HANA can, can support the tax function. Uh, I think the, the book is a great companion for you. So why did you write this book? Yeah, that's a, that's a great story because um, we were contacted by uh, the Rheinberg Publishing, uh, yeah, your, your company at least, uh, the SAP Press. And so um, they were searching for authors um, who can cover the um, tax topics and as for HANA on a global scale, yeah, who have the experiences collected in um, in the years of practicing um, this business and um, to cover also um, all the tax types. That means especially indirect taxes and direct taxes and of course transfer pricing. And so it came that we said um, yes at this moment when we were asked and um, that was the time uh, when it started. Yeah, and if I may add, there are also a couple of observations which we had in recent S4 transformations in the last years, because if we are looking at those transformations, uh, it was not always uh, necessarily the case that the potential benefits for tax have been realized in the, core, in the course of such a transformation. So especially the benefits that are related to core tax processes are sometimes not considered in these transformations. And that's, of course, not ideal uh, for the involved uh, companies. Hence, also our intention is uh, to make very transparent how the core tax processes can be supported by SAP so that the value for tax can be also realized. Um, what exactly would I learn from reading this book? Uh, could you talk about some of the benefits for readers? If you'll learn anything basically that you need to know to set up tax in an SAP S4 HANA system from a technical perspective, but also from a project perspective and how to involve the tax department in SAP S4 HANA projects, which is traditionally not a tax driven type of project. What about the writing process? What was it like for you? Please don't ask. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> Fair enough. No, no jo joke aside. Uh, so you can imagine, right? So uh, we have a daily business and it's quite challenging to allocate additional time next to this uh, time, which al already occupies quite some of your day. And uh, what helped us, and thanks a lot to Reinwerk uh, for this, helped us uh, providing here a clear structure of timeline and milestones because uh, we are not uh, publishing books on a, let's say, permanent ongoing basis. Hence, uh, the input here was highly appreciated. And um, But uh, also still having milestones in place, uh, 
it was also required to allocate some vacations, right? So to get it really finally through and uh, being able to keep the timeline. Uh, what was your favorite part about writing the book? Yeah, so I mean, actually, I, I wouldn't emphasize a specific uh, part. So um, I just liked the, the idea to to make SAP knowledge available to tax practitioners and also yeah, on the other side, tax knowledge uh, for SAP practitioners uh, available, which I think is uh, still still a rare asset uh, on, on the book market. Yeah. So after all of this, did you ever think you would become an author? Well, not necessarily. Um, and probably if I would ask my 11 year old self if I would become an author, probably be more of a fantasy novel and probably not an SAP book. <laughs> um, can you tell us a specific tip from the book that you'd like to share? Yeah. So. Involve tax in your SAP projects, involve tax from day one, gather the tax requirements that your business has, because it's a very, very crucial part of the business and it can result in a lot of frustration if you don't involve tax on your SAP as for HANA projects. Um, there's close to nothing to add to this. <laughs> it's <laughs> such a comprehensive statement. Um, so perhaps one one aspect in the in the transfer pricing domain and the practi practitioners are well aware that this is a quite complex cross-functional process and that also consumes loads of data uh, and having them available with S4HANA is of course a very good starting point and the tip is also to look beyond the S4 score also to consider potential SAP ecosystem applications like PAPM which can allow then for a real end-to-end -end implementation of transfer pricing. Or in that respect, also document and reporting compliance for indirect tax and withholding tax. Yeah, so from, from, from my side, there is basically uh, nothing to add. So, um, but uh, your transformation um, project from, from a tax perspective does not uh, have to be a, a rocket science, right? So always, always be open, and um, then your uh, your uh, tax transformation project will be also sex successful from from a tax perspective, of course. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, it's a comprehensive book, and the intention was to uh, really cover topics that that are really important based on experiences, and wherever you may find a gap or you may um, uh, end up with a with a problem or an issue we cannot solve. There is a section in this book. You find four people who were crazy enough to write this book. Just call out to them, and uh, they can help you. So, <laughs> I think that's also something um, which is really important. Um, it's also a human business, and and the relationship um, between the experts and the project teams that's really important. Uh, so, uh, that was one uh, important note to make here. And thanks for enabling this. Without Rheinwerk, uh, I would say everything, everybody will agree that book would not exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Good>. Definitely. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much.